to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Now, this is a very serious one, association. The Bible says God called Abraham. He didn't call Lot. Very interesting scripture. And Lot went with him. God did not call Lot. He called Abraham. But Lot said, I didn't hear God. But at least I heard your obedience. And I'm going to follow you. And by reason of that association, God began to multiply Lot. When Lot forgot that it was because of association, he detached from Abraham. The next time we hear about Lot is in the middle of Sodom and Gomorrah, about to die. Associations are powerful. Get my teaching blessed by association. It's a very powerful teaching. Many people were visionary people on their way to do big things until they became part of groups, associations, clubs, and all kinds of sects that derailed and faded their morals, plunged them into mediocrity and laziness, etc. Associations are powerful. Are we together now? Yes. The Bible says, do not be deceived. It said, bad company can corrupt good morals. It is often said that you are the average of your friends. If there are six people in that group and there are five foolish people, there's about to be a sixth one. He that walks with the wise, he doesn't have to be wise, just walk with the wise. The Bible says, he that walks with the wise shall also be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. There are people who used to have and keep loving families, except that they became part of friends and associations. I said, you mean you don't beat your wife? This is Africa. Let me tell you what I did to my wife last week. I beat the living daylight out of her. And there's, there's thorough compliance in that family now. And then the man returns back, you see. Notice, when God came to Adam in the cool of the day, the Bible says, and they heard the voice of the Lord walking in the cool of the day. And he said, Adam, where are thou? And Adam said, I heard your voice and I hid because I was naked. The next question, who told you have received an orientation that did not came from did not come from me who did you listen to adam now did not call her the wife he said the woman you gave me and he now turned and said woman what is this that you have done she said the serpent satan became the god of this world because he didn't blame anybody every time you transfer responsibility you also transfer dominion that's why when jesus was becoming seen he didn't speak he was silent all through are we blessed yes. association is powerful let me tell you this love is a command association is not you must be intentional about your friends there's no such thing as we grew up together edit your relationships with intention and sustain the courage and the boldness to preserve and only keep people in your life who are consistent with your spiritual values and where God is taking you to. Listen to what I'm telling you. This is the plague of Africa. The, the emotional blackmail of saying we were together, we grew up together, we are from the same village, from the same this. No, if they do not sustain the values that make for kingdom come, the values that make for an impactful life, the values that make for intimacy with the Holy Spirit, you don't have to hate them, but off you go. listen listen don't just clap don't just shout listen to what i'm saying
was it not because a man entered other people's boats that they began to sink jonah knew what he had done he knew what he was carrying and he quietly entered into the boat of visionary businessmen who had gone they had labored they got their goods they got everything i'm sure their wives were happy waiting for them to come and then everything began to be boisterous and he kept quiet he was sleeping they threw their things out he watched them throw it look at the kind of retrogression his presence caused let me tell you this human beings have prophetic implications it's true jesus fasted and prayed all night to choose 12 disciples please help them jesus medical people tell us come doctor this is a doctor this is a medical doctor medical people tell us that there are certain diseases that are communicable this is medicine is that true i may not love him i may not believe in him but just, and it can come on you theater that a flu what i breathe example jonah want to lose everything john the upon your courage to edit your association in the name of jesus christ please sit down there are people who love the house of god and love the things of god but many times you will find out that they become part of some sort of group maybe for from financial benefit political benefit etc and they come and lie to you that is a nuisance to love god it's a nuisance to be passionate about the things of god that's not how politicians rise they say that's not how business people rise they say if it's not in your presence if it's not by your hand if it's not by your spirit don't let me have it for everything i need is in you association can affect your mindset when you are in the midst of people who pray i assure you it won't be long before you take god seriously in fact let me tell you this a community life is the key to sustaining kingdom values you will never be able to grow consistently in isolation you will need to connect to a body of believers of like-minded passion so when you are praying in the spirit someone does not look at you and laugh and make you feel stupid for praying in tongues then you quickly off your ringtone your ringtone is prophesying to you and you off it quickly because you are in an environment where there are unwritten rules that it is you are too civilized and too dignified association I learned this early in life and for many of us this may be a message already for you there's such a psychological pressure to belong yes I know that psychologically speaking one of the needs of men is to be accepted and to be loved this is why the Bible says behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God he said I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness he is that friend that can stick closer than a brother you must trust God for grace listen to me carefully there are many of you you would have been champions now by the standard of God but you've surrounded yourself with all kinds of mediocres comparing themselves with themselves and not doing anything global small minds doing small things whereas your contemporaries are changing nations 
we must trust God for grace edit your association edit your association hallelujah I, will, I heard of a story of a man who was deaf and it was not known that he was deaf and so while he was trying to climb I think he was climbing a very high altitude or a tree or something while he was climbing those under kept beckoning on him listen please please come down you will die and he thought they were cheering him and he was smiling at them and kept moving up and they were saying come down some were even crying because they didn't know he was deaf so he thought that they were cheering him and when he climbed and arrived there that was when they discovered that the man was deaf because he could not hear them he had to make do with his interpretation of what they were doing so he called what their their mockery he called it commendation and it sponsored him until he finished strong the lord is calling me to ministry from where which village have you had did you see what your father become and you shrink back in mediocrity oh from this little hamlet the lord will take you and the sounds of worship from you will get to the ends of the earth and here they come on accredited counselors they come with all kinds of counsels of ahitophel you must trust god for grace to connect yourself with the right people it has to be intentional please listen to me some of you are in politics some of you are in government some of you are in business and i tell you this you are the average both in thought and in results of the people you surround yourself with are we blessed quickly let me touch on the last area and then we pray when the lord showed me the work that he's now doing when the lord showed me the possibilities that would be working in as a ministry it was it was something that was big based on my background that would take the truth of god's power and grace literally across the nations of the earth i studied my bible and i looked through history and i saw great men and women and right from that small room i said lord i believe you let's go now let me tell you it's, it's, it's not unusual for people to not believe you so don't don't think it's new of course they would not believe you until they see the workings of the grace of god on your life i don't know why i'm saying this but i'm saying this to someone right now because you are still evolving it does not yet appear you told people that you're going to fund the gospel you will fund the gospel like a government but now people are laughing at you because you're in one room find courage history always repeats itself that god can lift you as a trophy mary said be it unto me according to your word be it unto me how do we pull down strongholds listen very carefully number one the first key to deconstructing and dismantling wrong inferior beliefs that keep us in poverty that keep us in failure that keep us in mediocrity the first key write this down please is to recognize and to admit the need for renewal you must recognize and you must admit listen to me knowing that you need help is almost half the problem solved the fact that you are aware the prodigal son came to himself the bible says and here's what he said how many hired servants does my father have and i'm here feeding with the swine he came to himself he was not advised the bible says he said to himself i will arise and i will go to my father and i'll say father i have sinned against you and against heaven and i am not worthy to be taken as your son but take me as one of your servants 
and while he was coming afar off the father saw him and came and embraced him the responsibility of recognition that I recognize and I realize that I may not have any advantage from a territorial standpoint I recognize and I realize that I may be coming from a background that is largely anti-Christ anti-kingdom for instance that recognition that brokenness that contriteness of heart will always attract the spirit of grace and wisdom to you are we together it's true you need to admit that you need renewal that's why the Bible says that we should receive with meekness the engrafted word can I tell you this I submit to you people of God there is a lot of pride and a lot of arrogance in the body of Christ and across our sociological sphere is the reason why very few people rise pride over mediocrity pride over nothing I'm not being I'm not being sarcastic I apologize if it sounds so but I need to charge you and shake you up listen do not be ashamed and embarrassed when you discover that there is need for a higher dimension that meekness and humility is very powerful there were two thieves with Jesus are we together now and one of them kept ranting and talking nonsense even though he was about to die you see those kinds of people at the point of death he was a thief he was aware that he was a thief he was aware of what he stole and he didn't sound contrite at all mocking Jesus and the other one said mr. man shut up we stole we are aware of what we did this man is innocent and Jesus heard him there is there is something about the voice of brokenness there is something about the voice of genuine meekness no matter how wrong you are no matter how confused you are the moment you are broken and you are contrite you are attracting the attention of his majesty he said this day you will be with me in paradise you need to admit the need I had a conversation not too long ago with one of our fathers in this nation and um, when we spoke we spoke for a few hours and when he began to open me up to dimensions in ministry saying so many things sharing from years of experience I sat there feeling like a toddler I sat there feeling like someone who was just getting out of kindergarten and I said bless God for this encounter this is the kind of exposure that I need be careful be sure that you are not your best reference it is dangerous you must find a way of finding yourself in an atmosphere that stretches you pats your back very briefly and yet tells you that there are higher heights though we are few we're surrounded by men who have crossed that river before and this is the song we'll be singing forever oh, the Lord. listen this is very powerful stretch yourself You've done so much, wonderful. But then God immerses you in an environment that stretches you. I remember the first day I watched Benny Hinn, I said, my God, what is this? I remember when I watched some of the generals, even though God was already doing great things in and through my life, I said, what is this? I had the opportunity to meet a few of them before they went to be with the Lord. Some of the, you know, those who met them, not God's generals now. But it was, it was amazing what they did to my spirit. I continue to press this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind. They don't have to be wrong things. Beware of excessively patting yourself at the back. Do so and then quickly. Champions are always forward thinking. Nobody claps for you for the same thing twice. When they clap for you once, that's it. If you have nothing new, there will be no applause again. 
are we blessed so you must recognize and admit the need for renewal number two there are times that you may need to cast the demons and the spirits that keep the faulty mindsets second corinthians chapter 4 and verse 4 you must cast there there are real spirits that can build the bible says in whom the god of this world please look up has blinded their minds it was not a philosophy that blinded their minds there is a real spirit that blinds the minds of people let me tell you this did you know that just because you are looking it doesn't mean you are seeing yeah the bible says that when those men who wanted to sodomize um lot remember now lord gave his daughters and they said no 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 we want lot the bible says that the angels caused blindness to come on them and they wearied themselves in front of the door they were right in front of the door but they could not see the miracle of open eyes the bible says the god of this world you can pass opportunities you can pass relationships but because there are spirits that blind the eyes of people they will make you call good evil you will call evil good they will make you destroy the helpers of your destiny because you cannot see he said open down my eyes that i may behold there are times you need to take authority in the name of jesus and cast those spirit influences every good thing that comes into your life something happens and until you fight it you are not at rest so your life is surrounded by the memory of good things and good people who keep passing through your life like ushers. You must sustain the grace to take authority over the spirits that cause these things. Bazanji Soroba Bazanji Kunyaba number three how do you pull down these strongholds the renewal of the mind what does that mean passionately pursuing to know god's perspective about life listen to me there is an intention to renewal and transformation you must passionately pursue god's perspective we study the bible because it contains the wisest perspective about life about everything you have to know god's perspective about life about finances about everything in life it's called the renewal of the mind romans chapter 12 from verse 1 and 2 it says do not be conformed it says i beseech thee brethren by the message of God that you offer your bodies a living sacrifice he says holy and acceptable unto God he calls it your reasonable act of service or worship verse 2 says do not be conformed to this world is the word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with the system he says but be ye transformed evolve into superior dimensions of yourself by the renewing of your mind you must trust God and refuse your current level Lord I am tired of this level I'm tired of the limitations the mediocrity that the mediocrity that comes with this level the problem was never the oil it was the space that the vessels gave the oil the prophet diagnosed it accurately he said you call the oil small because it was a small vessel carrying the oil the oil was hearing the conversation he says go and borrow vessel you don't borrow oil but you can borrow vessel buy the truth sell it not he says go and borrow borrow not a few when he began to pour the oil to the vessels the oil kept increasing he said go and sell it pay your debt and leave off the rest are we together now when you read job chapter 29 job was giving us the secret of his outstanding life and he began to give us a a a breakdown of the many things that happened to him the first light that came upon job was on his mind not on his path 
there are two dimensions of light there is the one that shines upon your head there is the one that shines on your path the one that shines upon your head recalibrates reconstructs your understanding is called the mind of christ philippians chapter 2 and verse 10 it says permit this mind to be in you which was also in christ jesus there was a belief system that the son of the living god had that made the holy spirit comfortable living with him from age 12 while his contemporaries were running around he was with the scribes and the pharisees learning learning it was on the strength of his spiritual investment that he could withstand satan at the wilderness because he came to him it is written he came to him it is written he came to him it is written you must be full not just of scripture from a religious standpoint but it is important to know god's perspective please look up the kingdom has god's idea on everything God has his idea on kingdom wealth and prosperity. The world also has his idea. The world's ways that you can cheat, you can kill if need be. You can tell lies, you can be greedy, you can be involved in anything provided money comes. But the kingdom has its way. You must learn the ways of God. There is Jesus the way. The methodology of the kingdom. The authorized channel. He said, I am the door. A door means an authorized access point. Please listen carefully. And so, hitherto, when you were alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, you were not saved. You were not born again. You could do anything anyhow. But now you are in the kingdom. And you begin to study the ways of God. Then you learn that there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth the ways of God. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. You learn that God can load men with daily benefits, not just monthly benefits. Are we together now? Yes. You learn that the proof of his fatherhood is his benevolence. That if you being evil know how to give good gifts. So the, the awareness of the fatherhood of God gives you the confidence to approach him. You must learn the ways of God. In the kingdom... There is how God restores. In the world, there's no restoration. If it's gone, it's gone. Ah, but hallelujah, in the kingdom, there is a way. And I will restore even time, the years. God doesn't just restore things. God restores time. So when Jesus died, while they were talking about the dead Jesus, within 72 hours, he was back to life. This is a blessed hope for us that means that all of the things you would have achieved that your knowledge or your insufficient knowledge did not allow you to achieve that the hand of god is able to go back into your yesterday and take everything there and bring it forward to your tomorrow this is scripture but you must learn the ways of God. Your confidence in this kingdom is when you sustain a superior belief that is culture, not just based on Scientology or the philosophies of men. You are transformed to the degree that you have the mind of Christ in experience. Hmm. Are we together? It is true that we live in a dark world that is full of evil. It is true that there are arrows that fly by day. But then you are convinced, you are convinced that the jealousy of God has such his investment upon you. The Bible says where your treasure is, that is where your heart will be. And if you are truly his treasure, that means his heart and his jealousy has been invested towards you. This gives you confidence. Hmm. That when men say there is a casting down, for me i can say there is a lifting up it's not just some christian jargon this is truth based on the mind of god ah that the wisdom of god is at work in me it is true this is the mind of christ you have to believe it do not think this is childish you ignore this it will be to your peril deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 the mindset of the kingdom and it shall come to pass 
if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command you this day he says the Lord will set you on high this is my destiny in Christ I sustain that mindset from whatever background and regardless any situation that he will set me on high above nations not above contemporaries above nations verse 2 it says and all these blessings shall come upon me and even overtake me this I believe this I believe ah. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 I'm showing you pieces of scripture that reflects the mind of Christ and I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of anybody including enemies of Egyptians and the proof is that when you go you will not go empty I believe it the Bible says strangers shall feed your flock this is God's mindset listen you have to choose what to believe this is not just some Pentecostal thing no believe me this is how the kingdom was framed it says through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of god many people keep arguing this and they are failing they are broke they are mediocre they are going down they are sick nothing is happening in their lives superior belief systems cultured by the word of god when I get up in the morning, I say, this is the day the Lord has made. My emphasis is the Lord has made. Who made the day matters to me. Because I need to know if my interest was represented in that day. And if it is the Lord that made that day, I am secured. Because I know what the Lord can make. He is the maker of the heavens and the earth. So if he made a day, a thousand shall fall by my right, he said. 10,000 by my right side but he says I need not fear why I will only stand and watch and see the reward of the wicked my Bible tells me that the fullness of my days I will fulfill this is what I believe you can't imagine I was saying it humorously somewhere you can't imagine the number of text messages I get quite honestly Apostle be careful I just had a vision and I saw your name in a shrine and I know they are not lying it will be foolish to think at this level the devil will be clapping to no but did the bible not say behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions he said and over all the powers of the enemy and then he said nothing here's the keyword shall by any means there are many means many means but he says shall by any means your realities are framed by what you choose to believe are we together now yes sir so you must make up your mind it is not about i am a yoruba person it is not about i am an Igbo person it's not about i am a hausa person i'm a northern man. i'm an american a european asian no no the bible says we have been called out of every tribe every tongue every kindred immersed in the kingdom baptized into Christ through his spirit and you must sustain that superior belief system listen to me there are many of you respectfully speaking and please don't feel insulted you have been in this city for many years and the city does not know you why because it, there is a belief system that makes dominion work you have to know what you believe you have to choose what you believe i made a covenant with god and this i believe i found out from scripture that jesus never met anyone twice for the person to be blessed and i made a covenant with god i said lord you are sending me to minister to people may i never have to meet someone twice for his life to change yes sir because you will meet people who are at a point of life and death there's no time for playing games and dilly dally the messianic prophecy isaiah 61 the bible says the spirit of the lord is upon me upon me upon me upon me it's a revelation the spirit of the lord is upon me 
it's not trouble that is upon me god told me what is upon me whatever he did not say there are yokes that can come on people but he told me what is that if i ever feel heavy what is upon me is the spirit of the lord this is my thinking So there's no room for depression to say this is a uh, 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 uh. the bible tells me if you ever feel anything upon you it is the spirit of the lord and then he says help them please he says he hath anointed me i truly believe i am anointed find a way of believing this this is not a pastor's thing this is not a minister's thing let me tell you what it means to be anointed it comes from the word to be smeared with oil but that simply means authorized anointing is a system of authorization it legitimizes your operation so that you can minister the power of god these are ordinary hands yes my family members are here my sisters are here biological people but when i met him something happened to me and i believed it i believe that i'm not ordinary look i'm not bragging forgive me i am i'm revealing something to you when you hold that file it's not five fingers that is holding that file uh -uh. please find a way of believing what i'm telling you help them please for as long as you are the only one holding that file a door will never open for as long as you are the only one preaching your your words cannot carry that power the ability of the spirit your words become like arrows sent into destinies dissecting impossible situations why because you are aware i read in my bible Jesus said it and I believe and the Lord walking with them confirming the word with signs so I expect it that whilst I am teaching whilst the word of God is coming there is an unction Kali's Kebarata an unction healing an unction delivering an unction opening doors this I believe this is the supernatural dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus I'll see you again bye